Hi, everyone. I'm Holly Dodson, and I just want to give you a quick welcome to my beginning IEW writing class. I thought it would be great to introduce myself and give you a little bit of an idea what to expect as we're moving toward the beginning of the school year. So I have been teaching IEW classes for about 15 years. And when I first started, I was using mostly materials that I got from my IEW training. Um, over time, I started to tweak those materials a little bit and redesign them uh, based on what I found students really loved to write about. And eventually, I created my uh, whole curriculum based on my own materials. Um, every year, I tweak it a little bit. So the materials you'll be getting this year are new and improved over last year's uh, materials. So as soon as I receive from you either payment or uh, confirmation of a purchase order or an enrichment order from your charter school, I will start sending out um, a PDF of all the materials that you will need for this class. Um, again, it comes in a PDF format and you do need to have those printed out for your student. And over the years, I have realized that if those materials are not bound. Students have an uncanny way of getting them all mixed up. So even if you put them in a three ring binder, um, students open that binder, they drop the binder, the papers fly everywhere. And at the beginning of class, they're shuffling around trying to find the page that they need. So what I recommend doing is once you get that PDF, um, you can just send it virtually um, to Staples or another print shop and have those pages printed. And I've designed the book to be printed double-sided so that students, when they open up their book, they'll have the, the uh, source materials on one side and the outline on the other to make it easy for them not to have to flip back and forth. So this is what the final book looks like if you have it printed and bound at a printer. So you send the PDF, you ask them to bind it. Um, I created a fun, colorful cover. Um, if you wanna save some money, you can have that printed in black and white. But I think that it is important if you possibly can have it bound, that way your students won't get all mixed up. Um, I also, um, recommend having these little tabs. So I just got these post-it filing tabs and there are a few pages that I like to have the students mark um, that we go back to again and again. So I will be putting that in the information. Um, but for example, page 19, there's a whole list of LY adverbs. We use those again and again. So I bookmark that LY adverbs. Same with page 79, which are a list of prepositions that the students will be going back to again and again. So once the book is ready to go, those are all the materials your student will need other than something to write with and occasionally just some blank paper. So regular school materials. Um, Every week we will read a source or an article from this book, we will learn how to take what we call keyword outline notes, and then students will write paragraphs based on those keyword outline notes. Um, so every week they will have some homework, and I encourage you to uh, make sure that they are following along, doing the homework. Um, they will turn in their rough drafts. They do need to be typed. Um, I'm a big proponent of learning to type early. Both of my girls, um, I had them learn how to type when they were uh, six or seven. It was the end of first grade, and they became amazing typists really quickly, and it has served them well. Now they're well into their 20s, um, and they are still grateful that they learned how to type um, well early. Anyway, they will be typing those uh, papers and sending them to me as a PDF so that I can give them feedback on their writing. I don't give grades, I don't give letter grades. Um, every student is in a different place with their writing when they start this class. And my goal for them is to learn and improve. 
um, without striving for an A or a B or whatever. So they get lots of feedback from me, um, but not a letter grade. If you do want to provide your child with a grade at the end of the year or the end of the semester, of course, you know, you're welcome to do that. Um, after they get those edits and feedback back from me, they do need to do a final copy. And the reason for that is so that they will learn from their mistakes. If I give them edits and feedback and send it back to them and they look at it and go, oh, okay, and toss it in a pile somewhere, they're not going to learn from it. But if they are required to rewrite that paper, which is another reason the typing is awesome because they don't have to rewrite the whole entire thing. They can just make those corrections right on the computer. Um, they do need to go back and make those corrections. Why? To learn from those mistakes. So if they are consistently uh, making errors in punctuation or capitalization or not using the dress ups that we learn correctly, if they have to go back and fix them, they're more likely to learn. Um, they do not have to send me their final copy. Um, I would like for you to take a look at it. You as the parent, take a look at it, compare their rough draft, um, which I've edited to their final copy and make sure that they've made all of those corrections and understand them. Um, and then that, of course, you know, to what extent it's perfect or whatever is, of course, up to you. But please do make sure that they are um, doing those final copies. So that's just a little teaser on how the class will work. Um, I encourage you to uh, listen in on the first few classes so that you have an understanding of how the class works as well and can help your student at home. Um, it's definitely a team effort between you, me, and your student. Um, if you ever have any questions, please feel free to email me. That's usually the best way to reach me. Um, just a little housekeeping note too. Um, please try to make sure that your students arrive to class a minute or two early. Um, with Zoom, I always start, if, with Zoom or in person, I always start classes right on time. I usually give them about a minute grace period for technical difficulties. Um, but we do start right on time, so we are learning from minute one. And if your student is arriving late, they're not only missing important instruction, but they're also causing an interruption to the rest of the class. Um, with Zoom, I hear a little doorbell ring. Um, I let them in from the waiting room. Uh, if they've missed instruction, then I have to catch them up with things we've already talked about. So it takes away from uh, the experience for the other students if your child is consistently late. Obviously, I know things happen. I do, you know, let them into the room late, but please be conscious of making sure that your student is signing in in plenty of time to get into the class. Uh, my classes are back to back, so they won't be let in any sooner than five minutes before, but if they're ready to go, that's just going to improve the experience for everybody. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a taste of what's to come. And I very much look forward to working with your kids. I love teaching the beginning IEW writing class. I see so much growth in my students. I see, you know, confidence. I see um, just some amazing things happening. So I hope that that happens for your child as well and look forward to working with them this year.